Welcome back to Logic 101. I'm William Spaniel, and this lecture is on the rule of inference known as conjunction introduction. A lot of these rules of inference we're going to be seeing from here on in are very obvious, and this is one of them. It only has two premises. Premise 1 is P, and premise 2 is Q. And remember, with all of these rules of inference and rules of replacement, it doesn't matter whether these sentences are simple sentences or compound expressions, we can apply these rules all the same. And if you know that P is true and Q is true as well, well, just by the way I said it, it should be obvious that P and Q, the conjunction of P and Q, must be true as well. And this should be very obvious if you think about this in terms of actual sentences. So if premise one was, this rule is obvious, and premise two is, this video is short, if both of those things are true, therefore, this rule is obvious, and this video is short. The conjunction between those two things is true as well. And if you really need extra proof, here's a proof by truth table. We have two simple sentences, P and Q. We have a conjunction, P and Q, as our last column. We see that in the first column, which is our first premise, P, that's true in the first two rows. For our second premise, Q, that's true in rows one and three. And we look to see where both P and Q are true. That's just the top row. And notice that, well, yes, indeed, P and Q is true as well. Very obvious stuff. That's conjunction introduction for you. Join me next time when we talk about another rule of inference.